Hi guys, my name is Kelly. I'm with fitnessblender.com. We have over 500 free home workout videos and we put a new workout video every Monday. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. Today I have a body weight only cardio and button thigh workout. You won't need any equipment at all for this and I've included both your warm up and your cool down. Let's go ahead and get started. For our warm up, we're gonna be doing 25 seconds of each of these exercises, no rest in between, so a really quick transition. We're gonna start off nice and light by just getting our feet moving. So starting off with 25 seconds of that boxer shuffle. If you have been sitting for a prolonged period of time, you want to, might want to do a little bit extra of a warm up, otherwise you should be good here. So we're gonna be working pretty hard today. This is, these are kind of burnout intervals we're going to be doing. So uh, I'll be showing low impact modifications all the way through if you need them. So just watch out, make sure you're pushing yourself and also that you're listening to your body and taking a break when you need to. All right, next up we're gonna be doing uh, slow butt kickers. So we're warming up the front of our thighs, just kind of kicking yourself in the butt here, alternating back and forth. So you can always turn on music that motivates you, helps you keep moving through this, especially once you know what's going on with the exercises. All right, next up we're going to be doing a high knee march. Warm up our hip flexors a little bit. Two, one. All right, so right here, we'll add in some upper body too. So pulling up the knee as high as you can. So you're balancing on that one leg. Keep your core nice and tight. We can start working our midsection already. All right, 10 seconds left. I'm going to switch to a warrior lunge lean. These feel really good. Three seconds. All right, so we're gonna be stepping back into our warrior lunge, but lean away from yourself, whichever direction uh, the leg is behind you, lean away. So you get a nice stretch through that entire front of your body. To hold it for just a second, you can get both hands up there if you like, or just one, whatever works for you. Warming up that torso. All right, next up we're doing alternating front kicks, so right up front, just like it sounds. You're gonna get those uh, hamstrings, the backs of your thighs warmed up. They're going to be working very hard today. All right, next up we're gonna be doing walk downs. Again, warming up the core, the upper body, and the backs of the thighs. So right here, come down, walk all the way out, hold the tall plank for just a second, and then walk your way back up. And feel free to pick up the pace as you get more comfortable there. Ten seconds, I'm going to switch to side lunges. Two, one. So right here we're going to the side. Keep that one leg uh, straight as you lean away from it. Then come down as far as you can control. Sink back so you feel it in that glute that you're leaning towards. your back nice and flat, even without any weight at all, it's important to keep your form clean. All right, next up we're gonna be doing good mornings. Again, this is good for our backs, and we're warming up the backs of our thighs. So keep your back flat, and then squeeze your glutes on the way up. Five seconds, we're going to switch to a reverse leg lift. So standing up nice and tall, core strong, just lifting one leg and then the other. So squeeze those glutes. You should feel a little bit of stretch through the front of your body as well. Keep it going. You can always hold on to something for balance if you need to. All right, next up, we're going to be doing a basic squat. So we're going to be doing a lot of these today. So back flat, weight in your heels, kind of leaning back to start that squat, and then sink. One way to do it, inhale on the way down. Exhale as you push back up. So you want to make sure that you're just not holding your breath, whatever you do. Next up, we're going to pick up the pace a little bit with a fast butt kicker. Like I said, this is a cardio workout too, so we're going to get our lungs ready. All right, right here. So if you want to be low impact, just cut out the jump. Pick up the pace, but cut out the jump. Otherwise, move as quick as you can. All right, our 
last interval is jumping jacks. So right here, you're landing soft, but moving as quickly as you can if you want low impact. Just cut out the jump from side to side. You can always do a combination, do what works for you. Under 10 seconds. Two, one. Okay, so that's our warm up. Don't go too far and we'll get jump right into that workout. Okay, we're doing intervals of 45 seconds on, 15 seconds rest, and we're starting off with a lateral jump squat jack. So a lot of this is gonna require some coordination as well. Don't feel bad if you feel a little awkward, we'll work through it. So you're jumping to the side, and then a squat jack to the side, and a squat jack. And if you wanna keep it low impact, just go side to side, just cut out those jumps. Otherwise, jump as hard as you can, and then jump your feet apart as fast as you can, but stay low the entire time. Stay as low as you can the entire time. Keep going. It's about halfway right there. If you need to, you can always step up to take a break. Otherwise, just stay low. Five seconds left. One. All right, so there's one down. So we're gonna do at least a boxer shuffle while we're waiting in between intervals. Never stop moving. So next up, we're gonna be doing a reverse lunge plus a side leg raise. It's another one that's good for your uh, butt and thighs, but also your core. So you're stepping back behind yourself, come up to the side and raise that leg. So stay nice and tall here and raise that leg with control. You wanna make sure you're controlling it. Don't swing your legs. Make sure you're not holding your breath. You can always hold on to weights here. I highly recommend it. If you want the extra challenge and you have the equipment, go for it. 10 seconds left. Five. All right, so that's one of those downs. So we're gonna repeat that sequence. So going back to those lateral jumps with a jack squat. Five seconds, two, one, here we go. So cross and apart. So try to land in the same distance from each side. It's just part of controlling your body. And it's harder than it looks. So try to pick a point on each side where you're roughly jumping to each time. our halfway point. Keep going. Remember these are burnout style intervals. If you need to take a breath, push yourself as long as you can and then take a quick rest. 10 seconds. Three. And all right. So next up we're going back to those reverse lunges plus a side leg lift. Take some nice deep breaths here. Try to catch your breath. All right. So standing in the center, back, come up, and lift that leg. If you can't do it very high, that's totally fine. Just do what you can. You can always hold on to something for balance too. So over halfway done already. Fifteen seconds. So this is a good interval to catch your breath. Next one, we're gonna step it up a notch again. All right. So next up, we're doing three squat hops, static. We're staying low. Three squat hops plus a side toe touch. So we're just torturing those legs right now. <laughs> and the lungs, hopefully. So three seconds. All right, so get into your squat. So one, two, three, and down. One, two, three, and down. So you're staying low the whole time. 
you want to make it low impact, just stay here, just pulse, and then tap that toe. One, two, and three, and tap. Otherwise, you're staying in that nice low position before you break out into a side lunge. Make sure you're landing soft. Five seconds. All right, so next up we're gonna be doing a stutter squat plus a toe raise. Nice deep breaths. So we're kicking our feet apart, apart, and then down. So one, two, come down, come up for a toe raise, and then switch which leg leads each time. So this time, I'm gonna start with my right, right, left, center, do that toe raise. Next, it's left, right, center. Make sure you really squeeze those glutes, squeeze those calves. About 15 seconds left. 10 seconds left. Five. All right, so back to the squat hops plus the side lunge. Just a couple more minutes and we'll take a quick water break. <clears throat> Three, two, one, here we go. So get low. One, two, three, and the cross. So keep those muscles nice and tight. I'll turn to the side here, so you so back flat. It's a small range of motion. But you're keeping everything nice and tight. Just remember your Pulses, if you want to keep it no impact. We have neighbors below. 10 seconds left. Five seconds left. All right, so we're going back to those stutter squats plus the calf raise. Deep breath. It's our last active interval here for a second. All right, here we go. One, two, down, and lift. Try to pick up the pace as you get comfortable. If you want, sorry, a low impact on this, step to the front, step to the back, come to the center, and calf raise. Front, back, Center and calf raise. 10 seconds left, keep going. Five. All right, so we're gonna take a really quick water break. We'll come back and finish off the last half of this routine. Okay, so our next exercise is going to be a jump squat plus a kick out plus a leg lift. So it's a combination move. We're working our whole body here. You're going to jump up as hard as you can into a job squ ju uh, jump squat and then drop down for a would-be burpee. So all the way up as hard as you can, down, and lift one leg. So you're coming back up, jump squat, and the next time we'll do the opposite leg. So if you want to cut out the jumps, just step into position and come to the front. Or you can, sorry, lift down here, up, up and up. So otherwise, move as quickly as you can. Make sure you're alternating uh, which side you do the lift on each time. Keep your core nice and strong. Try to land soft from that jump. Under 10 seconds, keep going. All right, there's one round down. 
So next up we're going to be doing sumo squats. So again, this kind of serves as a chance to catch our breath a little bit from that harder cardio interval. So we're going to place your feet nice and wide, as wide as you can control, and you're going to sink down. So this is a smaller range of motion than a regular squat, and that's okay. Keep your back nice and flat. And again, if you want to hold on to weights, definitely recommend them. Step up the challenge and the results once you're ready. Once you're ready for that extra challenge. Inhale on the way down. Exhale as you squeeze back up. Under 20 seconds. There's 10. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. All right. So we're going back to that jump squat kick out. Try to catch your breath here. Got about five seconds left. Three, two. All right, starting off with that jump squat. Go up, drop down, and raise a leg. Remember your low impact, just come here, walk down into that kick out. Twenty seconds left. Fifteen. There's ten, keep it going. Five. Three, two. And one. All right. Next up, we're going back to that sumo squat. 10 seconds rest here. Shake it out, but keep moving. Nice deep breath while you can. Two, one. Okay, so a nice wide stance. Down, back up. So your knees are going out. So they're tracking in line with your toes when you turn out this wide. Inhale on the way down, exhale as you press back up. Halfway point. Make sure you're keeping your back nice and flat. Make sure you're not rolling your shoulders or leaning forward too much. 10 seconds. Five, three, two, and one. All right, next up we're doing a jump squat plus a toe tap. So we're gonna jump up as hard as we can and then tap to the side or cut out the jump if you're looking for the low impact option. Three seconds. All right, so here we go. So jumping up and then tapping the side while you stay low. If you wanna make this low impact, do so your uh, toe raise and tap. Toe raise and tap. You can always go to that if you get tired of doing the jump squats. You can use it as a sort of intermediate rest period. Just push yourself as hard as you can for as long as you can. Fifteen seconds. Here's ten. Keep it going. Five seconds. Okay, so now we're dropping down to the floor. We're gonna be doing a bridge. So flat on your back, uh, feet on the ground, right next to your butt, and then we're gonna be pressing up to lift our bodies off the ground. So you lower, exhale on the way down. Sorry, inhale on the way down. Exhale as you press back up. If you want to make it harder, you can always alternate single legs. Single legs, sorry. Otherwise, just stick with that basic motion with two feet on the ground. Make sure you're squeezing your glutes. You should really feel this in your thighs, your butt, and your lower back a little bit. One, 
All right, so we're back up for the uh, jump squat combo. Shake out your legs, catch your breath. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go. So we're jumping up hard and tapping to the side. You want to make it low impact. Remember your no jump option. Stay low, stay as low as your legs will let you at this point. 15 seconds. Keep it going. Five seconds left. Whew, okay, dropping back down for that bridge. A nice deep breath here. All right, here we go. Get your arms up in the air. If you want a little extra work through the core. You can also hold on the weights right here if you like. Put them on your hips. Increase the resistance of this motion. if our timer had left us. Okay, so next up we're gonna be doing two static jumping lunges plus a squat drop. So this is gonna be tough at this point, not gonna lie. So we're gonna do a lunge, I'm gonna be right here, sing that lunge, one, two, come to the center and tap there before switching to the other side. One, two, center, one, two. So if you wanna cut out the jumps, come here for your center drop, step back, one and two. In the center, one and two. So pick your level of difficulty here. Oh man, 10 seconds left, keep it going if you can. I'm gonna switch to my easier modification here. Oh, okay. That was cruel. <laughs> okay. Next up, we're going to be doing a Pilates rear leg lift. So dropping down so your weight is in your forearms and your knees. Take a nice deep breath. I'm going to start on the left side. So lifting up and come back down. We'll add in some pulses as well. <clears throat> So try to make sure your hips stay facing the ground. Don't let your hips open up. You want your glutes to be doing all the work. All right, for the last 20 seconds, let's pulse. So right here, I'm just gonna poke a hole in the ceiling using really smooth movements, no jerking. That's cheating. Just breathe through it. Three seconds left. Okay, so now to tackle those um, split lunges. <laughs> this is gonna be even tougher this time. We're doing one more round of those static lunge hops plus a uh, sender drop. So here we go. Back, one, two, and in the center. One, two, center. Remember your low impact? One, two, right here. This looks a little different. Just taking out the jumps. Otherwise, oh. okay, I'm going to the easier version again. Go as long as you can. 10 seconds. Oh, 
Okay, good job. All right, so we're going back to that Pilates uh, leg lift here. So we're gonna do it on the other side. Drop down. All right, here we go. Pull in your core. Keep everything nice and tight. <clears throat> All right, right here we're pulsing. Let's go to your happy place. You can always take a break if you need to. Try to outlast it. Every time you think you want to break, make yourself go three more seconds before you let yourself take that rest. Keep going. All right, and relax. Okay, so next up we are doing a no jump burpee with a front kick. So we're gonna be working on, it's kind of like a single leg um, deadlift in a way here. So, you be dropping down, straight out. As you come up, try to rely on only one leg and kick. Switch sides. If you need the low impact version, it's right here. But try not to set that leg down until you're in front of yourself. So it's going to be a lot harder on balance, but try to do what you can. It's over halfway already. Ten seconds. Five. So, it's three more active intervals left. Oh, try to take a deep breath. Five, three, oh sorry. Next up we're doing static squats. So, good thing it's a simple exercise. Just sink down, keep your back nice and flat, and go as low as you can. So, your weight should be in your heels. Technically you can wiggle your toes. Pull in your core and keep your chest up. And then just try to calm your breathing while you're here. It's good practice. That's our halfway point. Ooh, let's shake out my muscles. That's okay to do. Just get right back into it as quickly as you can. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Oh my gosh, the legs are gonna love me tomorrow. All right, 10 seconds until we go back to that single leg burpee or the burpee plus a kick. Five seconds, two, and one. Here we go. So down, remember your low impact version. Step out for each of these. Nice and tall, and kick. There's our halfway point. Fifteen seconds. Under ten. So, we have just one more active interval left. <sighs> Try to catch your breath. Five seconds. <sighs> Here we go. Down to that static squat. So, I'm thinking on the difficulty scale, maybe a four out of five. Maybe like a three and a half. What do you guys think? Out of five, how difficult was this? Halfway, so nice and low. This is another one that you can add weights onto. You can do a little bit of pulsing here if you like. Just keep it nice and smooth. 12 seconds, here we go. Let's try to finish this thing up. Three, two, 
and one. Oh. Okay, all of our hard work is done. So I'm gonna just take a couple minutes to let your breathing go back to normal. Focus on nice deep breaths. Kind of do some freestyle moving here, whatever feels good. Focus on in through your nose and out through your mouth. All right, right here, let's do a little torso stretch. To one side and off to the other. Let's come back to the center. Stretch out the arms all the way back. So you fold over forward. Enjoy this for just a second. Kind of rock back and forth here. Side to side. All right, let's come up in the center again. Let's repeat that whole thing one more time. So arms up over your head. Lean to one side. I'm wondering if my face isn't the color of my shirt right now. I feel like it. All right, slowly down the middle. Going for that forward bend. And rock back and forth from one foot to the other here. All right, one more on each side. Leaning to each foot. And here. All right, now let's do this forward lunge again. So you feel, bring your calf, or your side of your heel down and lean back. So you feel a stretch through your hip flexor. But then also lean up away on the uh, same side, lean towards the opposite side. So you get even more of a stretch through the front of your core here. You should also feel nice on your upper body. Lean forward if you want to make the stretch deeper. All right, switch sides. Opposite foot back. Find that comfortable space where you got the right amount of stretch. And then you know, lean away from yourself. Kind of up and back a little bit. All right, let's stretch out the front of our thighs, our quads, so grab a wall if you need it, and pull your foot up to your butt so you feel a good stretch through the front of your thigh. All right, switch sides. Now we're gonna come down to the center here, nice and wide, fold forward, and then just walk yourself over slowly. Leave this leg straight and walk yourself away from it so you're getting a good stretch through this inside thigh. And then slowly push through that leg. Walk through the center, take your time here, enjoy the stretch through the back of the calves and the lower back, and work your way over here. Do the same on the opposite side. All right, I'm gonna come back up and keep this leg straight but point the toe back up at myself so I get a good stretch through my calf here. Just pull that toe up towards yourself. You should also feel this through the back of your thigh and a little bit through your glutes. All right, switch sides. So I'm going to walk down, you guys know I love downward dog, so I'm going to walk into that nice and slow, trying to keep, again, stretching your calves a little bit, trying to keep your heels on the floor, 
act as if you're trying to pull your hips up towards the ceiling. A nice stretch to your whole body. Kind of lean back and forth, walk in this a little bit. Change sides, find out where you're tight. And we fold one under. Take a nice couple deep breaths here. Switch sides. Make sure you're not scrunching your shoulders up. They stand down and relaxed. And breathe easy here. All right, let it relax. So if you want to do more of a cool down, you're welcome to do that. There's never any harm in doing extra stretching, otherwise you should be go good to go here. Make sure that you eat a good healthy meal after this and drink lots of water. We just did a lot of sweating. Otherwise, thank you guys for working out with me. This workout is complete.